我觉得这地方很漂亮，就是它的漂亮的地方不只是在它的 interior design、它的用料、它的它的宽敞度，包括说它所在的这个地方，它整个居住的环境。现在我们都住在城市里头，但你没有办法想到，就是你有城市的奢华，但是同时又有大自然的那一种绿意盎然的那种感觉。We have received many inquiries seeking for advice on the location and types of the best property to purchase for their own stay. There are many options of properties in the market, but what defines the right one that suits you? Property development has evolved over the years as home buyers' requirements become more complex, and a more conducive environment for future family planning has now become a priority. My name is Alex Lee, and I am from Design Seed. Today's episode, we will be featuring a residential area that is highly sought after by those who wish to live in a lifestyle that is centered on the community living and cultivating family bonds. This amicable neighborhood is named Desa Park City. In our previous episodes, we have featured multiple makeover projects, which gives a total facelift in giving a new identity and lifestyle change to the new homeowners. To relate an actual experience of this comparison, we will be inviting a previous client and friend of ours, Xiao Hui Mei, to share her thoughts of the differences between staying in a landed makeover property versus a luxury high-rise condominium nestled within the modern township at Desa Park City. For those of you who missed out on that episode. Here's a quick flashback of Huimei's humble home transformation. Moved into my new home for two years. Actually, I was quite happy that this time, I finished the house to finish the house. Because this two years was MCO time, so the time spent at home was really short. And my designer also made the house very comfortable. So we didn't think that I would spend so much time in the house. Even the kitchen, the kitchen, and 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 Please support us by subscribing and click on the notification bell to stay in the loop of more of our compelling episodes. Desa Park City actually, 我其实有相当多的朋友呃有在这边住，所以我们以前我们还有在就是可能周末 weekend 的时候我们会过来就是见见朋友啊，或者是呃以前还有就是来跑步啊这样。那我自己的印象是，我觉得这是不像在马来西亚，因为你一进来这边就是你会看到很多的植物，就是它是一个很多绿色的一个环境。然后不知道为什么哈，你感觉上就是进到来空气特别清新，然后你觉得整个感觉你。进到来是特别的舒服，要有的东西也有，就是你想一下，到处你都可以看到有湖，然后呃人行道，就是骑脚车的人他有自己的脚车行道，然后你要吃东西也有，你要 shopping 他也有。我觉得它是一个汇集很多不同的这一个设施，也很贴近大自然的一个地方。我其实以前没有太想过说，我住的地方一定要就是 community base， 但是也是因为这两年的生活不一样了，然后现在我开始会有点想。如果住的比较中心一点，就是你附近周围，比如说有学校可以有学校，有银行可以有银行 ，shopping mall 可以有，或者 grocery 的那种 shops 可以有的话，那应该会很方便。所以你现在问我的话，我会觉得，嗯，如果有也是不错的。我发现有了孩子之后的那个考量点就不一样了，因为你就会开始在想，嗯。baby 大了之后，他可能要去 kindergarten， 或者他可能周围要有一些比较美的 parks， 他可以去玩，就会开始多想说为孩子做考虑，变成说可能选择住的地方就会跟以前不一样。另外
，你也会想到的就是呃，那个周遭环境的安全，就是保安系统好不好？比如说你带小朋友出去，他是不是可以自由的走动？所以在这一点，我就会在想啊，如果以后我住的地方就是有人行道，就是车是走车的路，然后人是走人的路，那整个环境就是你作为父母的话，可能就会比较安心。我觉得小朋友如果在一个很安全，然后你一出来就有很多的草原，有怕，而且不只是他哦，因为你知道我们现在很多家庭就是少子化，就是一个孩子，一一般一个孩子或者两个孩子，但是你出去你可以跟其他的孩子一起，就是你看到有很多小朋友，甚至可能有很多的宠物在一起跑的时候，你就觉得哎，你小朋友可能可以跟其他人一起玩。我觉得对小朋友的成长，就是身心灵的成长，应该也会更好。Living in a high-rise has one crucial benefit, which is to enjoy the strong natural air ventilation that goes across the property. However, in the most conventional condominium floor plans, you would require to open the main entrance or the kitchen door to enjoy this cross ventilation that goes through the balcony sliding door. Due to privacy and safety issues, most would keep their main door closed, which restrict this cross ventilation within the unit. This brings us to one of the key features. Which I love most about the Park Region floor plan, the door balcony concept opens up the general spaces for more homeowners to enjoy a naturally ventilated home, reducing the need of air conditioning. With the large sliding doors that opens up widely, it's almost as though the interior connects closely to the outdoors. Not to mention, it gives a larger impression to the entire unit. I visited multiple luxury condominiums, and most of the time, the larger the unit. The darker it gets towards the center of the property. However, in Park Region, due to the orientation of the floor plans and benefit of the floor-to-ceiling height window openings, the entire unit is fairly littered, and very minimal lighting needs to be switched on during the day. If I say that the place I live in is comparable to here, of course, I think that in the facilities, for example, there are swimming pools, there are gym rooms, and then out there is the park. These are the things I want to go to. I would like to go to Park Region. When I first came in, I was actually thinking to myself, "Is it possible that we can?" 就是你，你开始会在想，如果以后，比如说孩子出事了之后，哎，是不是有可能买一件这样子的？就是为什么我会特别喜欢，是因为它其实好几个原因了，包括说，像我自己是很喜欢煮的嘛，那这个地方是完全切合我的薪水，你知道吗？就是因为它有一个很大的 island， 就是你在这边你要做任何的烘焙，你要就是弄蛋糕啊、面包什么的，它都很方便，或者你要煮，它后面有一个 wet kitchen 都很方便。我家是 landed property 哦，但是我家的厕所也相对就是刚刚够用，我放不到我的 bathtub。但是这一边你可以放到 bathtub， 然后它有足够的空间。就是我现在在想，以后有了小朋友，就小朋友有时候要玩水啊，或者是冲凉还是什么的，它这边的地方都很足够。然后包括说他的 walking wardrobe 也，我觉得也挺大的，就是他就是两大个橱柜，然后再加上如果小孩长大，他需要比较大的环境，那我觉得这里也也其实也足够大，因为我们是家庭凝聚感很重的家庭，所以我们有时候 weekend 的时候会大家一起，哎，要不要一起 steamboat 啊，或者要不要一起 barbecue 啊？那我觉得比如像这里。就是它的露台这么大，我们都可以聚在这里，或者饭厅也足够大。那这一个地方就是大家都可以坐下来，整个空间会是刚刚好。我也会在想，如果父母要来跟我一起住，或者是先生的家人如果过来的话，因为有时候你房间不够或者太小，你会怕不够住。但在这里的话，你就觉得哎，那个空间是绝对足够的，因为它有三间房，而且三间房都不小。它不是说只有那个主人房是大，其他两间是小的，就是三间房，我觉得那个尺寸是几乎相等的，就是它它几乎都足够用。包括说后面还有一个工人房，而且工人房不是小的哦，它工人还有自己 attach 的冲凉房。也有 laundry 的 area， 就是所以我觉得是很足够用的。就是说，你除了是可能一家两口、三口之外，如果你有，比如说父母要过来一起住的话，我觉得这个空间也也足够大。
。我觉得如果你今天是在挑选你自己的房子的话，你可能有几个呃，就是因素你自己要考虑，包括说你自己是一个怎么样的人，你喜欢怎么样的环境，你是喜欢比较独处的吗？就是你可能就是喜欢一开车进去就住进家的，那可能你就选择兰登。但是如果你今天是想要比较方便，就是你住的地方什么都有，你住的地方其实不用开车，走路出去你就可以找到吃的地方，你就可以找到就是休闲的空间，你就可以跑步，你一开门你就可以看到大自然，或者是你希望说可以跟邻居有比较多的互动的，周围的人气要比较旺的，那可能就可以选择像 l e s a Park City 这样的一个地方。所以到最后，我觉得是看你的个人选择，然后跟看你的这个家庭的这个方向是往哪一个。I would say the material certainly highlights the property as a class above, but what makes this property really valuable is the generously spacious floor plans. With a total build-up of 3,046 square feet, three plus one bedrooms with four bathrooms and a powder room, from the private lift lobby to the bedrooms and bathrooms and essentials of the home, like the kitchen, balcony, and even the maid's room. All this makes this property so much more livable comparatively with most luxury condominiums out there. The beauty of the Park Region property is that it is not just a property that caters for young and small-sized family. With a generous portion of large and spacious floor plan, this property caters for large families and even generations of families being able to live together under one roof. We hope you enjoyed today's tour at the Park Region, and it was really great to hear some first-hand insights from Hui Mei of her personal opinion about her comparison. Just like what Hui Mei mentioned earlier, there are plenty of options of properties out there to choose from. However, understanding your lifestyle, your needs, and projecting your future planning, this would assist in narrowing down your search to finding the right home. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay tuned on our upcoming premieres. We will be leaking some teasers and highlights consistently there. My name is Alex Lee, and I am from Design Scene. We hope today's episode was informative and useful for you. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification buzzer to stay tuned to more of our upcoming exciting episodes. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching.